I could not have said it any better. You know, Lindsey Graham is in, is in the fight of his life right now against uh, Jaime, uh, Jamie Harrison. I want you to listen to what McMullen had to say about him, a former Republican. I think he's now an independent. He couldn't take the party anymore. Check this out, and then we'll take it on the other side. You know, one of the things that's fascinating, Evan, uh, to stay on South Carolina for a moment, while Lindsey Graham does seem to be in perhaps some trouble there, the president, not so much. I mean, most polls still have uh, President Trump leading Joe Biden in South Carolina, although that latest Q poll shows it pretty tight. What, what does that tell you? How can voters be fed up with their Republican senator but still um, embrace the Republican president? Well, the Quinnipiac poll does show a tighter race. So, so let's see uh, where it goes from there. Uh, but even the other polls show a tighter race than you would normally see for the president. Uh, but to answer your question, Craig, about why there may be a disparity between Trump's better performance possibly in South Carolina and Lindsey Graham's performance is that Lindsey Graham opposed Donald Trump. He was a never Trumper. I, I don't know if he would describe himself that way, but he certainly opposed the president. He warned the American public in 2015 and 16 about the dangers posed by Donald Trump. And in fact, he voted for me in that election uh, and said so uh, ahead of time that he was planning on doing that. After the election, look, I know that Lindsey Graham made a decision. He, he, just, he needed to decide whether he was going to get on board with Trump or continue to fight. And I know that he, uh, you know, after thinking that through, decided that he was going to get on the Trump train. And, and that's what he's done. And he said so explicitly. But the result of that is that he's not a big favorite among avid Trump supporters because they remember what he said about Trump to begin with. So they don't trust him. And of course, principled Republicans and conservatives don't trust him either. He simply has no core. Don, Lindsey Graham has no core. He's abandoned the American people. He's abandoned the Constitution. And he in no way deserves to be reelected. He's a massive disappointment, I'm sorry to say. He's someone who I uh, respected for years, but he has shown his true colors in the last four years, and he deserves to be beaten. And I think there should be a cross-partisan coalition in South Carolina formed by Democrats, independents, and principled conservatives and Republicans to unseat him. Notice what he said, principled conservatives and Republicans to unsee them. That is taken, uh, making it clear that he understands the Republican Party has become the Trump Party. And the Republicans that he's talking about are people like those who are with the Lincoln Projects or the, the uh, Vote Trump Out Party and all these other guys that are working against the re-election of Donald Trump. I mean, for this guy to come out and speak against a a former real stalwart a like Lindsey Graham, somebody who supported uh, McCain, that says a lot. Jamie Harrison should be the next senator of South Carolina. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. <laughs>